Live from Seattle, Washington, it's The Cube at Tableau Conference 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Tableau. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Kelly. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live in Seattle, Washington for Tableau's User Technology Conference, Data 14. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, they strike the silicon noise. Some say the ESPN of tech, we've been called. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE, and our next guest is Sarah Stone, marketing and advertising manager for the Texas Rangers, and I had to weave in that ESPN of tech comment. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. The, uh, we love the, uh, doing the, kind of the talk sports center kind of you know, analysis, um, but sports is about really technology these days, and one of the things that we find fascinating is, um, you know, you have the Moneyball book, Michael Lewis was, was the keynote here, you got his autograph, great stuff, but that's opening up everyone's eyes to the fact that, okay, you can use technology now in all businesses, in all verticals, sports is no different than any other vertical. Um, so tell us, what's going on with you and the, and the Rangers, their data, you become the data czar with Tableau, um, tell us how it all got started. Well, working in the front office for the Texas Rangers is a lot of fun, and we're starting to see the channeling of the whole sabermetrics, money ball spirit from the baseball side and bringing it to the business side of operations. So we sort of started out in marketing and advertising with saying, hey, let's, look a look, let's take a look at our past attendance and see have our media buys and advertising flights really moved attendance on certain days? Has placing a bobblehead on a Tuesday instead of a Saturday driven more premium inventory to be bought? So we're trying to bring that sort of analytic, like let's actually look at the data approach to the business side of the front office. So how did you get there? Was it you just woke up one morning and said, I'm going to do this? Or did it come down from the top? Was it kind of just came together? Well, in my previous job in political advertising, I worked with Tableau a lot. So when I started working for the Rangers a year ago, I said, hey, I think there's this program that could help us out, that could help us look at our data. So it really just started, honestly, with looking at promotions and giveaways in the 2013 season. And we actually saw a lift on Tuesdays in attendance due to these all fan giveaways. And we presented it at a board meeting and it was really these two slides that showed a simple fact and increase in attendance that got the kind of, um, the leadership thinking, okay, this is a software we, we could use. Yeah, I was joking with the Tableau guys earlier and Jeff Kelly, who's out uh, um, doing some interviews on the floor, about this, we're living in an API economy, but, and also this other uh, theme we've been kicking around, the notification economy. You get your Facebook notifications on your iPhone. In a way, that's, this is what you're doing. Your Tableau is allowing you to, to present the data and, and get the attention management saying, hey, you know, bing, data point, notify, is that, the value of Tableau in your opinion? Is that the magic? Yeah, I think so. I think one thing that's been really great um, using Tableau in the organization is that it allows us to connect directly to like our ticketing database, for example. And although we had you know, live connections and certain people could go in there and see what sales look like for a certain game, being able to connect to that database with Tableau and then get these live updates allows all sorts of users within the front office to go in there and get the same information. So it's really disseminated this real-time information in an easily to ingest format. So Sarah, let me get this right then. You had the secret weapon in your back pocket. You walked in, <laughs> crafted up some data, showed everyone, and boom, home run. It's, I wouldn't say exactly like that. It's been really cool to see the collaboration that's taken place um, in, our, in our office environment. And I think yeah. once you show people in different departments, hey, like, this can help you understand your data and you help them build their own dashboard, say in finance or in like, the box office, that's really kind of what caught fire and the collaboration through the whole organization has been really exciting. Well, I think that's awesome. One of the things we always say here in theCUBE is we're living in an era where you can measure everything now. So the data's there. The question is, how, what are you gonna, how do you get it in, and then who, and what an, is analyzed around it? So, um, what other insights have you have you discovered? What other aha moments have you had that were like blow, that blew you away? Like, oh my God, that's amazing! I never would have saw that. Well, recently. Um People in our IT department were looking at finance data and um, they were looking at our cell phone expenses. And you know, being in baseball, scouts are traveling internationally and those are going to be really expensive cell phone bills. So in a spreadsheet that would normally like not look very exciting, they connected it to Tableau. Um, 
and it came really apparent like who were the biggest if offenders, you know, and like what departments are spending the most. And so that was kind of a recent success story for us to say, hey, let's apply this to like another sort of data set. Um, and it got people excited. So it's kind of a boring example of like cell phone data, but it was really exciting throughout the organization. But, but that's, that's, biz, that's business operations. I mean, right. that's basically like you can say, well, slap on the wrist for talking too much, or hey, they're doing deals. Right, So exactly. you kind of know, wait, wait a minute, you're on the phone, there's no deals, what's happening? Or just get WhatsApp. <laughs> 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 or maybe, that, maybe that's not the, the, the right, uh, sanctioned approach, but um, what, are the, what are the things that, that you um, enjoy about Tableau? Share um, the story around the collaboration because the community of Tableau is pretty, not pretty strong, very strong. So were you alone in this? Do you have coworkers? Has it been spreading like uh, Kool-Aid? Thankfully, um, there's some key like Tableau advocates, some of my coworkers in different departments, and we actually get together and we form our own little group, like an analytics ops group. We have our own kind of geeky name, which is fun. Um, but one of the things I love about Tableau is that it's pretty easy to teach to people, right? It's really user friendly, and I'm not like a data person or an IT person. I'm just like in marketing and advertising, but I learned how to use Tableau, and I can teach it to people in ticket sales, in the box office, and finance. Um, I think one of the most exciting things is to see how other people, once they get connected and know how to use it, how they get excited. Um, and the work we sit together, we'll lock ourselves in an office that's not being used, and just start jamming away, and you know, the IT person will know, well here, let me write the query for that. The ticket sales person will know, well, I know what this data, this like field in the database means, and I could say, well here, let me show you how to sh make it in Tableau, and it really, we all get together and make dashboards. You have a Tableau party, you all have a- We do. You, you, you're, turning, you're turning people into data geeks. <laughs> well, we kind of, well, we're kind of <laughs> geeky anyways. We love numbers, I mean, baseball's a game of numbers, and so it's really fun to see that on yeah. the business side. Yeah, that's exciting. So, so what, so we, we, look at the technology out there in sports teams, there's a huge trend to essentially use technology across all aspects of the organization. Operations, managing the team, managing the club, front office, and then the fan experience. Has the Tableau um, formula moved to the fan experience piece yet, looking at uh, other data inside the stadium? You know, that's something we're moving forwards to. We haven't really done much of that yet. Um, one of our kind of dream goals is to have a live dashboard for game time use that has concessions data and parking data, the box score, weather data, ticket scan data, so we can know where people are, what areas are congested, maybe change our staffing based off of that. So we haven't quite gotten there, but it's where we want to head. So when we were doing a live interview at uh, AT&T Park where the Giants are, um, we were kind of geeking out on all their geekness, and I said, I said to the, uh, <laughs> when we were doing the broadcast, I said, we're going to go to all the parks and we're going to grade them on their tech. So I got to ask you, how would you grade the Rangers on their overall tech uh, adoption? Um, great, getting there, or low? Well, I don't uh, know if it's quite up to gonna, Silicon uh, Valley, San Francisco Giants standards, but I would say it's pretty, it's pretty good. I mean, it's obviously a priority for us and a focus. We have a great social media team um, who's always keeping the fans updated. A really great in-park uh, entertainment group that's always, you know, trying to, trying to you know, include all the social media stuff during the in-game experience. So I would say it's on the great side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was talking to the guy who was CIO for the Dallas Cowboys, and he was telling me about um, some coolness that they had, which was, like, they, based, they have data that looks at the fan uh, sentiment on right. wins and losses, and what they do is they can raise prices of the jerseys and the drinks based upon certain things, and they say, certain sporting events, they drink a lot, so they raise right. the prices. Right. Or uh, when they lose, they sell less jerseys, so they drop the price, right? right. So th it's kind of the real time kicks in there. Um, are you guys using any real time stuff in terms of the, the ad buys that you're doing? Are you looking at real time data, or is it more of a historical data set? Right now it's more historical. I mean, we're basing off pre previous seasons and how the teams were formed on like, you know, their win-loss history and looking at certain days of the week. Um, so we're trying to be more reactionary. We can change out our creative pretty easily. Um, but you know, if we wanted to say move like resources, funds from one media flight to support another homestand, we could totally do that. So we're aware of those things. and We're trying to become more nimble. Well, thanks for coming on theCUBE. I want you to share to the folks watching um, that might not be completely addicted to Tableau software or had the Kool-Aid injection, <laughs> how to get started, why Tableau, is it as good as what people say, just how do they get started? Share some uh, advice to some of your peers. Right, so we got started at the Rangers by going to tableausoftware.com and just downloading a trial version. 
right? So that's how this whole ball got rolling. Um, find your favorite Excel spreadsheet of data that you're used to working with that you know and connect to that through Tableau. Um, they have a lot of great resources on their websites, videos to watch of how-tos. Um, maybe watch a few of those, connect to your favorite spreadsheet, the data that you know, and then start playing around. And that's really the beauty and the fun of it is you can't really make any mistakes. You can just go in there and experiment. Yeah, it's really iterative. It's really, and, and the whole storytelling thing, although it's a little bit kind of a marketing thing now, but it really is about no one gets the story right the first time. No one, right. no one can knock the presentation out without doing a dry run. So, so whatever your metaphor is, their model of getting data and, and, and just getting your hands on it is the right way. I mean, exactly. the, I mean having the, the, you know, the one answer, the one query, isn't the way to go. Um, Sarah, thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. Uh, great conference, what do you think about the event? This is a wonderful, event. it's so much fun, it's over the top. I mean, who knew a bunch of data geeks could be like this extroverted and fun? It's wonderful. They are fun, aren't they? They are, a lot of fun. Yeah, Tableau's, they play hard and work hard. That's the company culture. We are here live in Seattle, this is theCUBE, I'm John Furrier. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.